There is a technique. So what's position of function? What am I talking about? Okay, I'm talking about your hand, because your hand is the most important part of your body, and uh, not always. Could be your voice. But I'm, in this case, I'm talking about your hand. So everybody, I would like you to do this. Uh, put down your um, writing instrument. And I want you to put your dominant hand in front of you. Drop your wrist like that completely and move your fingers and see what they feel like. Make a fist. Try and squeeze, <coughs> try and squeeze your other hand and see how strong your hand is. See what your arm feels like. Okay. Now slowly lift your wrist up, move your fingers and be aware of what's happening and try squeezing again and lift right up and find that sweet spot. There's a certain point where your hand works beautifully. Try deviating one way, see what it feels like, deviate the other way, see what that feels like. Okay. Can, can you feel how profound it is? Can you feel how when your hand is down there, it's pretty darn useless. But there are lots of musicians that do this. Maybe not completely, but they, they're there. And you feel how do you deviate it. And if you did this over a bass guitar, can you see guys doing this? I mean, so position of function is that. So as a doctor, you don't have to be able to play an instrument to see whether somebody is using their body efficiently. So whenever I have a musician come to see me, I get them to bring their instrument. They sit down, and even if I don't play them, I mean, I have played quite a lot of instruments, but even if I don't play the instruments, it doesn't matter. Because I can look at, look, and so can you. Once you recognize, it's not rocket science. This is how you work best. And if the person is doing something weird and wacky, then that is actually an error in technique. And maybe you can sit and see how they can move that strange instrument to get it, but they can certainly go back to their teacher and explore that further. 